what's up guys i'm mark from wandering souls welcome back to my channel um time for another collection update it's been a while i've done one um so um i got some cds to show you here i got a nice pile of seven cds um some new albums and some older most of them are reissues and all stuff like that um before we go into that we are listening to um, Keeper of the Seven Keys by Halloween Of course a classic uh, This one doesn't need any introduction um, Great power metal in Germany um, Good stuff Definitely a classic in the discography um, This is an old noise pressing as well by the way So pretty cool um, good stuff. Anyways, um, over to the CDs. Um, Ozzy Osbourne is coming with a new album this year and decided to um, um, pick up an old reissue um, because this was um, missing in my collection. Um, I picked up um, Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes tribute, fantastic live recording. Released in 1987, um, of course this was recorded way earlier in 81 I think, somewhere that era, but a uh, fantastic live album, uh, definitely uh, shows uh, what a great guitar player Randy was, um, nice recordings, of course all the classics are on here, Don't Know, Crazy Train, Mr. Crowley, Flying High Again, um, Suicide Solution, of course there are some Black Sabbath tracks on here like Iron Man, Children of the Grave, Paranoid, you know, great stuff, um, yeah, everybody knows this recording by now I think, uh, but I still was missing this in my collection of Aussie, so I decided to pick it up, really nice pictures over here, really nice reissue with a lot of pictures and liner notes and stuff like that so, good stuff yeah really fantastic um, release good to have this in the collection and uh, like I said uh, this was just a gap I needed to fill um, great release Randy Rose tribute by Ozzy Osbourne Also decided to pick up um, some albums from Kiss. Uh, I Kiss I had a lot of them in my collection back in the day. Uh, I think I had Other Than Hell, uh, Rock and Roll Over, um, Alive One, Two, and Three, uh, Love Gun, um, Revenge as uh, an album I had, Unmasked I had. Um, let's see. Um, Carnival of Souls, I think, Psycho Circus, and I think I'm missing one, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's a one rebuy on this and two other albums I didn't have, but I definitely want to re-pick up some Kiss again. Um, I sometimes feel the need to spin some Kiss and then I don't want to go to stream every time, so um, yeah, maybe it's better to pick some CDs up um, for some records. That matter. I picked up uh, Destroyer from 1976. Fantastic album. Of course, it's a heavy issue, but uh, who cares? Um, great album. Detroit Rock City, of course. A great track on this. God of Thunder. Um, Shout it out loud. Beth, do you love me? You know, these are all classic songs. Um, This is a reissue, so they could have made a bit, made a bit um, cooler with all, all pictures and liner notes and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Um, the liner notes are probably here. Uh, I don't know why they cho chose for that, but I'd rather have seen them in the booklet in here a nice picture or something. But yeah, it is what it is. But this is a phenomenal album, great tunes on this. Um, Definitely uh, one great one for the collection. Also picked up Love Gun. 
also a fantastic album. I still love Christine 16 and um, Love Gun. Um, great tracks. Um, and this one is in the same style, it's from the same era of the issue. So. Um, the booklet is not really spectacular either, but that's what it is. It just says we write, wrote the songs and some imaging, but yeah, you know, could be way better, but it is what it is. But these are two fantastic reissues, so I'm glad to have them. I um, also picked up Creatures of the Night. This is one of my favorite albums. This is one from 1982. Um, fantastic album. Um, Creatures of the Night, Keep Me uh, Keep Me Coming, Rock and Roll Hell, um, Love It Loud. Um, yeah, War Machine, of course. Um, great tunes. Definitely glad to own this once again and again in the from the same reissue era. Um, good, st good stuff. <coughs> Let's see if I can get the booklet out here because it's a pain in the ass. And yeah. nothing a lot to it. Uh, but here are the lyrics in there, so that's really cool. So it's a bit, a bit bigger. But really nice reissue, um, and, and again, I'll, I want to have from this band. So uh, the remasters from Kiss, so really cool. The last three are a bit more extreme metal. So um, if you are into that, finally here your chance. Picked up this reissue um, from this classic. This is Dawn with Slaughter Sun, the Crown of the Triogly. Um, fantastic um, melodic black metal from Sweden. This is a classic classic in the genre. Um, if you like things like dissection, uh, you probably will dig this. Um, this is also the last release they band did. And this is from 1980, 1998. Um, I wonder what happened to the guys, but this is a fantastic reissue. Very nice, well done with lyrics and stuff like that. Uh, pictures. But they did a, haven't released a lot. I think this is uh, two albums and an EP. Um, I have the other album as well. I think on vinyl, and now I have this album on CD. Uh, fantastic album. Um, really glad to own this. Uh, this is really really good stuff. Dom with Slaughter and Son. Also picked up one of the later issues from. Um, album Wicca by Mystifier. Um, let's pull that out because it's hard to see. And this is a classic uh, Brazilian black metal album. This is from 1992. So this is very early in the black metal uh, world. Um, this is the band's first album. And it's fantastic. It has a nasty filthy sound, a kind of a death metal feel to it as well, if you like uh, things like uh, Beherit, Wolf Beherit, or um, uh, how is the band called, um, uh, uh, Blasphemy, if you like things like that, uh, you probably will dig, it's definitely in that vein, it also has, sometimes uses some keyboards, but it sounds really evil, um, Filthy, nasty stuff here. Black metal with that kind of a death metal feel to it. Uh, really cool stuff. And that is nothing special, but it's really, really nice. Really show this. The issue is done by Nuclear War now. Fantastic label if you like underground metal. 
that at least a lot of this stuff. Um, definitely need to pick up the second album as well. Um, Gotia, I think it's called. Um, I have the newest album as well, and then I need Profanus as well to complete the discography. They're working on a new album, um, but it, it takes him a lot of time to uh, release that thing. So the last album was from 2019, I think. So, anyways, uh, fantastic album. If you don't uh, know this and you like extreme metal, um, give it a listen, and uh, you might enjoy this. Um, Fantastic release. And then also a band that is back to the front. This is Severe Torture with Fisting the Sockets. This is the band's new EP. Finally a release after 12 years of nothing. Uh, the last album Slaughter was from 2010, which was a fantastic album. Um, but yeah, the band didn't do a lot in that time. The, um, band members were doing other stuff. Uh, I think uh, singer Dennis also uh, did live uh, gigging with uh, In Yum. Um, the drummer Seth from Low also left the band, so they had to find a new drummer as well. Um, lucky enough, a friend of mine, Damien, uh, has stepped up into this band. Um, I know that him from um, the old place I lived and he's also in Sepirot, uh, also a band I know quite good. Um, yeah, he's filled in the gap and he, did, he does a fantastic job on this EP, great drum work, um, yeah, awesome stuff. Um, the songs itself are pretty fast forward uh, but also have a, a kind of a, a nice build up feel to it. Um, the first song starts tension building and the last song builds that off kind of feel uh, and then they're in uh, it's, it's some great tunes some great riffing and uh, nasty vocals um, yeah really really good stuff three tracks um, fisting the sockets entangled in hate and hands and had not found um, the, my favorite probably on this EP is the last track this is phenomenal um, but all the tracks are great, um, and here are uh, the credits and stuff like that. So it's I'm wondering what they're gonna do uh, if they're gonna release a new album next year or something like that. That would be fucking awesome. Um, fantastic uh, comeback! I'm gonna see them live as well in the future. I'm going to Stone Age Festival next week, and. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see these guys live in this new lineup. Um, great stuff. Uh, released on some Seasons of Mist, um, which also released their album Slaughtered. Um, uh, yeah. After a couple of albums, it's definitely time for a new one. Um, but this is really, really good stuff. Really nice uh, uh, preview to what's up to come, I think. And I really dig the artwork. Uh, really fantastically done. I don't know who d did that. Let's see if there is something in here. Cover artwork by Roberto Todorico. If you don't know them, uh, Mix the Master by Mendel van der Leij. He's known from Aborted. And um, yeah, fantastically done. Um, great recordings. Really glad to own this EP. And, um, yeah, guys, uh, looking forward to your show on Stonehands. So, that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed my little update here. Um, fantastically, fantastic uh, CDs. Go check it out. Uh, very different styles, but uh, you guys seem to love that variety in my updates. So, um, I'm trying to mix it up a bit. So, um, Thank you all for joining, um, I really appreciate it and um, hope to see you guys back with another video. Thank you, take care and uh, arrivederci.